What's up, guys? Tim, some damn fool. Uh, it is a Tuesday. Fixed the truck. I'm working on a Polaris. So what I'm working on today is, guys, how to diagnose wheel wobble. So I've got a little bit of back and forth. It seems like it's in the bearing on the hub. And then, watch the joint here. Got a little bit there. So, going to, good God, dirt in here. Um, going to, uh, got my cotter pin out, take my impact, bust this off, pull it out, check, see what condition the bearing's in. And the man just had the whole ass in his bike apart. Why not replace this stuff? But either way, he didn't. The last thing you want to do is, and I know they don't look that big from over here, but, you know, these are the 35. So the last thing you want to do is have it flopping all around you know any tire slop is going to look like immortal hell going down the road and uh or the trail rather and i'm trying to avoid that so i'm trying to work out this bit of slack in the tire so team dirty money this is for you i've got some uh guys i don't know how well you'll be able to see got some parts left over from previous purchases on the Polaris so I've got some of the uh, some of the bushings and I have one bearing left so we're gonna tear this bastard apart replace the wheel bearing replace the bushings on here so let's get to it First and most important is going to be this axle nut on this impact. For the Polaris on the rear, I've got a 30 and it works fine. If you don't have an impact, go to Harbor Freight, spend 50 bucks. They're worth it. So worth it. And guys, if you'll notice, you hear me taking a break on it because this electric impact is not pneumatic. All you're going to do is tear stuff up in there, so. Uh, let's see now. It'll wobble out. Sometimes you got to talk to it a little bit. So go ahead and grab your hammers. I prefer the mallet because it's less damaging. Mine's dry rot, starting to chip. Mini sledge, if in fact it does not work. So what I like to do, guys, is I like to pull a little tension on both sides. You know, like pull this side, hit this side, pull this side, hit this side. Just get it to work loose. Alright guys, so let's see what we got now. Stand the stool out of the way, get down here where I can see with you. So, bearing looks, yep, it's got the slack, there it is. So guys, if you've seen it push back, right there, there's the slack. So, I'm going to go ahead and snatch this off. These snap rings are always fun. It goes out from the front. And it goes back in from the front. So your snap ring, once you get the bearing out and you put your new bearing in, you got to press it in all the way because the snap ring keeps it from backing out to you. So just remember your lettering's on the front and uh, your bearing will come out from the back. Once you pull this pain in the ass clip ring, I suggest you do not buy the cheap nine dollar set of uh, crimp whatever them damn ring pliers are get the good ones because i will be here fighting this thing for two hours today i guarantee it so guys i'm going to take these 15s on both sides take and swing these pull this off change this bearing put new bushings in i'll kick the video back on once i get it put back together because pretty much at this point it's just literally two bolts pull it out and then it's the work that over in the dark of the shop, 
everybody's press that you guys won't be able to see. So I'll kick the video back off when we uh, when we jump back in it.